So I had another video that I wanted to, uh, well, I, I do videos, these are commentary videos. I also do interviews and a bunch of and just incidental stuff. But these are the ones that I talk to when I'm talking to you like this, where I have my these uh, shades on or something like that. Or, well, you know, well, usually I'm in with the Honduras flag in the back and the African, you know, map over there. Um, then that means I'm doing commentary, you know. And uh, my reasons for doing the commentary started out, I won't go into history, there's, there's histories of, of that anyway. But if you are listening to me, I will give you one little uh, tiny thing you should know. That whenever I'm wearing this hat, this, you know, uh, it's a black, uh, it's, it's green. On the other side, if you reverse it, it's green, and then you had a little red star there. It had nothing to do with communism or, or, or Che. It has to do with the colors of a goon, and I'm a child of a goon. And I just like this hat. Harkens me back into the days of the 60s, you know, when we used to wear barrettes, you know? Anyway, uh, I had this other thing that I wanted to do, but something came up, and I really I want to talk about this for just this. It's very, 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 very small. Uh, um, but but also uh, sometimes I do these things and I'm just rambling. You know I'm just you know I'm just a mess because I'm one of those people that what happens is I'm thinking and trying to talk at the same time. Like I, you know and so sometimes it's all jumbled and the the the, um, the thoughts aren't coherent to you know, wherever it is. So I uh, just have to put up with that. Plus I usually use this um, um, I guess they call it platform of, of YouTube as an archival service. Um, and, and some other time I'll go in, into that. Uh, lately, because I had this c c concrete dust or whatever, I've been having this sinus problems. Hopefully, it'll be done with sooner or later. Anyway, I sometimes I have to grab this toilet paper here. In fact, the other one that I did that I didn't publish, I think the toilet paper was like in the shot like that. But I'm just gonna move it out of the shot so that won't happen. I know I'm wasting time, but let me finish it off again. Sorry, I should. Usually I don't do stuff like that, but that's just the way it goes these days. Okay, so something came up. I do want to talk about it in the, in, in this in this context. Um, when I first thought of coming to Africa, um, I had uh, this was in the, the mid you know mid nineties, early nineties. I thought of, I actually thought of going to Namibia. I, I, I get these weird kind of things. I'm going to Namibia to make it a base in the Southern Hemisphere because I have New, my New York base and, and I want a, a Southern Hemisphere base, you know, Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere base. So that's really what I first uh, thought about coming to Africa. Actually, probably was way before then because I have some other ties to Africa. I'll go into some other time maybe. Anyway. So uh, I think of us Africa or the southern part of Africa as a base, not as a, my home or, or where I come from. Actually, I come from, uh, as, as somebody said recently, I forgot where I heard it at, but, uh, oh, Neely Fuller Jr. I, where do I come from? I come from all the places I've been and all the places I can go. That's where I come from. But you want to know where I was made. Now, I was made in the South Bronx of New York City. That's totally different than where I come from because you, you come from... And, Basically, Neely Fuller Jr. was basically saying you come from every place. You even come from the moon because you're a starter. You, so everything is in you, so you come from those places that just in you. Blah, blah, blah. It's a whole you know, philosophical, whatever, existential argument, whatever it is. Okay. But there's something that I saw as a news report, and I'm not, I probably won't get it 100% correct, but let, let's try it this way. There are, I think it's just, now is there 55 or 57? I keep on forgetting the number of African nations there are because they keep on splitting off and making another African nation, which makes absolutely no sense because these lines that were drawn by the colonialists or so whoever draws these lines and make up countries, you know, that's, it's, it's meaningless. It's meaningless for some people. It's totally meaningless, you know? Anyway, uh, and, 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 and so or, or, what I was what I'm, what I'm trying to say succinctly, hopefully, is that uh, South Africa or Southern Africa is my base, right? My other base in the States right now, since I'm an American citizen, is uh, Virginia. That's, that's where, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a New Yorker, but, you know, I'm, uh, Virginia is now my uh, residential, legal, whatever, whatever home, right? Now, because of this, um, this circumstance, I don't really get back, uh, I don't really get back to the States often. I'm not really enamored with the States at all, right? Uh, but, you know, I have friends and, you know, so every once in a while you got to see, but I always tell them, yeah, hey, you can come to Africa. You know, why do I have to always <laughs> go that way? Okay. Uh, 
But the thing that came up with these nations, you know, whether they're 55, 57, how many, how many nations are, but they just had a conference, I think it was in uh, Kenya, I'm not really sure where they had the conference at, or Addis Ababa. Some place had this conference where they were signing this, this accord. And 44 of these nations signed it. Uh, somehow Nigeria didn't show up, or South Africa didn't show up. I don't know what's wrong with you know. I, these, they got, I guess they got these schemes going and they don't want to take part. Anyway, um, 44 of these nations signed this accord, basically establishing a, uh, a, a, an enterprise zone, if you will, you know, a, 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 a merchant's kind of zone where you can go from one country to the other without all the, all, the red, all the paperwork that's involved, you know, which is a good thing. This is what I've been waiting for for a long time. Now, because I have another step in this, you know, you, you, you'll have a, a situation where you can, your passport will get you to any of these countries that signed this accord, okay? But I have this other thing I really will push for at some particular later date, you know, like get my my act together with this, uh, well, my, not my act, but to get this whole permanent residency, whatever, together. And that is to have a, uh, a, a stamp uh, or a visa in, in any passport from, for any, uh, um, uh, some African of, from the diaspora, you know, which would include us who are, who, who are considered, um, I would say, uh, uh, descendants of chattel slavery. You know, if you have that de designation, a descendant of chattel slavery, then you also can have a visa that can get you to any African country, just, you know, that, that you will. It's like a, a, a visa that can get you to any African country. So if you go, wherever you actually go to any African country because you have this designation as a descendant of chattel slavery or, 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 or African in the diaspora. And, and that opens up the world to a whole, whole lot of stuff, you know. So that's what I'm hoping for, and I think this whole uh, thing about the African Union or you know 44 members of the African Union uh, to sign this accord and to have uh, basically a trade-free zone so business people can travel back for all sorts of business, you know, and then war and religion they always sort of come together like that. Anyway, uh, if if this happens, it's the first step in in, in getting uh, the Africans from the diaspora to basically be able to move about not only the continent but also. Because you're doing that, you can, it's, it's like, it's a blow against colonialism. The colonizers, they, they were sort of, maybe they get squeezed out, maybe they won't, I don't know, you know, but that's my hope. Uh, my hope being uh, me, T, from the Palestinians taking the trench to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.